Did you know that Tesla's Gigafactory in Shanghai produces one brand new Tesla every 30 seconds? Today, we'll discuss how they produce new vehicles so quickly and how Tesla was able to turn around their production delays and impending bankruptcy in 2017 to become one of the top manufacturing companies in the world just five years later. Tesla produces a variety of vehicles, including the Model S, X, and 3. They all fit together somewhat differently, but for our example today, let's just concentrate on the Model Y, which is Tesla's best-selling car, specifically the Model Y variant that is being constructed at the Texas Gigafactory. Because this is the best illustration of how Tesla manufactures cars in a way that no other company on earth can match. Making the various panels and the vehicle structure that make up the Model Y body will be the first step in this process. Tesla will carry that out using a procedure known as stamping. It's not too difficult. The shape of the part you want to make is held between the two halves of a die mold and a sheet of metal. Usually, an aluminum sheet is sandwiched between the two halves. The metal sheet is then stamped into the desired shape by the machine. The fabrication of all the parts that make up the body structure will involve dozens of these stamping machines. The big robot arms and conveyor belts start to come into play when it comes to putting them all together as the next step. As they move from one robot to the next in the assembly line, each one adding a new piece to the puzzle. They are joining all of those stamped pieces to form skeleton of the Model Y body. The body in white phase of the process is what they refer to at this point. At this point, there is no paint on the car, so it is not white. I'm not sure why they refer to it that way. However, as soon as the skeleton frame is finished, they will begin attaching all of the body panels, including the fenders, doors, hood, and trunk. Robots can just slap these on, so workers will be needed to fasten and bolt down all of these bodywork. Theoretically, they should be making sure that everything is fitted perfectly, straight and evenly. But in practice, Tesla has been known to struggle with that. Giga Texas, however, seems to be changing that with nice, tight fits on the bodywork. After that, we continue to the paint shop, where the assembled body is primed and sanded to a level surface. Then, depending on the finish, it goes through a lengthy series of spraying, dipping, and drying sessions to receive multiple coats of paint. White is the least expensive color because it is the simplest. Red is the most expensive color because it has more layers of color and metallic speckles than any other color. The body is sent off to have the interior paneling fitted, the electronics wired, and the glass installed after the paint has dried and been buffed and polished. In addition to all of that, a separate process will be running to create the model's undercarriage and drivetrain. They will begin by building a structural battery pack that will hold all 4,680 battery cells, the integrated cooling system, and the electrical architecture in addition to serving as the vehicle's main structural support. The front and rear Giga castings will then be bolted directly to that battery pack, completing the underbody in a few simple steps. The front and rear electric motors are then built into the Giga castings, and each is connected to the drive axles for all four wheels via a gearbox. The wheels and brakes are added along with the suspension, to create a large rolling structure that resembles a skateboard. The suspension is all connected to the castings. The carpeted flooring will then be installed on top of the structural battery pack. The center console and interior trim will be attached, and all four seats will be bolted to the top of the structural battery pack. The finished body will then be dropped directly on top of the frame and powertrain assembly, which will be the final significant step. Around the perimeter of the structural panels and castings, several bolts are used to join the two together. The model then receives the finishing touches from a group of individuals performing the last round of quality assurance. Theoretically, this is where any flaws and problems are found and resolved before the vehicle is released for delivery to the customer. You now have some additional context for how incredible it is that all of that can be done so efficiently that they can produce a brand new Tesla every 30 seconds at the Shanghai factory.
This is how the process works at Giga Texas and it's fairly similar at Giga Shanghai. Without its Giga factory in Shanghai, Tesla's company would undoubtedly not be where it is today. The company made its first attempt at creating an electric vehicle factory from scratch with this project. They simply ran their business out of a former General Motors plant in Fremont, California for the first seven years. To create enough space to construct the Model 3, they were forced to erect tents. The Shanghai Giga Factory's rapid development is truly amazing. That's quite the accomplishment and it's one that Tesla hasn't been able to duplicate with its two subsequent factories in Berlin and Austin, each of which took about two years from construction to delivery. Tesla broke ground in January 2019 and delivered the first made-in-China vehicles by December of that same year. It was anticipated that Giga Shanghai would produce 87,706 vehicles in October in the fourth quarter of 2022. And if we multiply that by 12, we get a yearly average of about 1,050,000 vehicles. This is significantly more than the factory's declared maximum annual production capacity of 750,000 cars. This increase in output capacity is the result of a complete production line upgrade that was completed over the summer, just as the factory was reopening after several months of lockdowns and restrictions in Shanghai. Even with the full month of production shutdown followed by another month of only partially closed loop operation, the work has been more than worthwhile. Giga Shanghai produced 554 778 vehicles in the first 10 months of 2022. That's a 59% rise from their previous year. The output at Giga Factory Shanghai in September was so high that the volume overwhelmed Tesla's usual strategy of using an end-of-quarter delivery push to hit delivery numbers. Elon Musk said on a recent earnings call that there weren't enough boats, there weren't enough trains, and there weren't enough cars to support the wave. Whether we like it or not, we have to smooth out the delivery of cars intra quarter because there just aren't enough transportation objects to move them around. As a result of Gigafactory Shanghai's success in producing Tesla vehicles, the company is sending workers from China to its Fremont, California factory to help boost output. Recalling what we said earlier, the original Tesla vehicle factory was established in the 1960s to produce automobiles for GM, and this was its primary function for many years. Later on, the company alternated between General Motors and Toyota before permanently closing. That made it possible for Elon Musk to pounce and purchase the property at a discount. This was before Tesla even turned a single profit and before he rose to the position of the world's richest man. It's also true that Tesla had to think outside the box to achieve its objectives with a Fremont plant. To accommodate the production of the Model 3 and later the Model Y, they erected enormous tents or sprung structures. The Gigapress casting machine, which Tesla introduced to their production line, couldn't be installed inside the original factory. Instead, it was set up in the parking lot, where it is still located today. Even so, Tesla has been able to significantly outperform GM and Toyota in terms of annual vehicle production from their aging factory. The most productive car factory in the United States is Tesla Fremont, which currently produces over 650,000 units annually. Although it is excellent, it could be even better. Elon Musk is adamant that Fremont can increase productivity even further. At peak, he intends to sell about 750,000 vehicles annually. Tesla has therefore brought in some production specialists from China to assist with that. Tesla will send employees, particularly automation and control engineers, to help with efforts to boost production in Fremont where Tesla makes the Model S, X, 3, and Y vehicles, according to a Bloomberg report. With the first workers arriving in November, about 200 people departed from California on assignments that will last at least three months. That's fantastic news for Fremont and the rest of Tesla's US operations. While one factory reaches its maximum output, we can observe what it can still accomplish while simultaneously observing a brand new factory in Texas startup. 
and the latest Giga Factory will only become more powerful due to the lessons discovered in Shanghai and Fremont. On October 30th, just 151 days after their official start of production, the team at Giga Texas announced that they had produced 20,000 model year vehicles this year. This is especially impressive when we consider that they only completed the 10,000th Model Y on September 17. Consequently, we will have 10,000 vehicles in 43 days or a run rate of roughly 1,600 vehicles per week. This is an increase from the 1,000 per week figure stated on August 20. This is excellent news, but Giga Texas is currently operating well below its intended capacity, which is 250,000 cars annually or 5,000 cars per week. However, Tesla didn't always have it easy. The company's 2017 introduction of the Model 3 was a game changer for electric vehicles. Long range, excellent performance, an attractive appearance, the highest level of safety, and autonomous driving capabilities for a very affordable price. The car was a huge hit, and business was booming for the order books. Unfortunately, Tesla's production capacity was far from sufficient to satisfy the Model 3's surging demand. This resulted in production hell. Elon Musk has dubbed the years from 2017 to 2019. In essence, the entire business was in disarray. They were unable to sell enough cars to generate enough revenue to keep them afloat and prevent them from going bankrupt. In a last-ditch effort to keep Tesla together, Elon Musk was sleeping on the production floor and living in the factory. That was unfortunate, but they managed to overcome it, and today, Tesla Model 3s are essentially ubiquitous. However, by going through that struggle, the business was able to discover many important lessons that can only be discovered through extreme adversity. The importance of automation was the main lesson learned during that time. Elon frequently speaks of the machine that builds the machine, which need not entail eliminating the workforce. Tesla continues to employ a large number of factory workers, but the focus is on increasing the volume that the fixed workforce can produce. And to do that, the factory's most difficult tasks must be delegated to robots. A video from a Tesla Giga factory shows that everything is constantly in motion. The car is constantly being moved from one stage of production to the next by some sort of robot arm, conveyor belt, or other devices. You can only spit one of them out every 30 seconds if you do that. And it's not just about automating every process. It's also about getting rid of as many processes as you can. Elon also believes that the best process is not a process and that the best part is not a part. The Giga Press Machine, for example, was developed by Tesla as a way to use die casting on a massive scale to produce large portions of the vehicle body using just one part. Because a typical vehicle frame is made up of a lot of small parts that are all fastened together either by welding, fasteners, or adhesives, manufacturing the rear underbody of the Model Y, for example, used to require 300 individual robots. Therefore, to create all of those components, automated stamping machines are required. A group of robot arms is then required to assemble everything. Now, before we tour further in this video, please give this a thumbs up if you are enjoying it so far. And stay tuned until the very end to find out more about Tesla's Gigafactory's updates. Tesla hired the best die casting company in the world, an Italian business called Idra. To help them build the largest and most potent casting machine in the world, the Giga Press to fix that. With that, a single machine and casting process took the place of 300 robots, and that's only gotten better with the new Giga factories in Texas and Berlin, where they use these casting machines to make the front and back of the Model Y frame. The Cybertruck will be constructed similarly, but with a larger casting machine. Additionally, Tesla has already begun to develop plans for a vehicle that will be even more compact and affordable than the Model 3, possibly even half as expensive. They won't achieve this by producing products of lower quality. Instead, they'll use advanced manufacturing to reduce production time and cost to record low levels. That might entail casting the entire car into a single large part, similar to a Hot Wheels car. 
Elon has been itching to give it a shot for a while. So, that's how Tesla builds its enormous manufacturing empire. They began in hell, developed independently with their Chinese Gigafactory, and conquered the world. Now, as their most recent Gigafactory creations finally go online, they're using everything they've learned along the way to propel the business to new heights. Since Tesla's always aimed to increase production by at least 50% annually, and since they typically surpass that target, it is likely that by this time next year, Tesla will be producing one car every 15 seconds or even more frequently. That raises a question. Will there ever be a time when you don't have to wait on a waiting list for who knows how long before you can purchase a Tesla whenever you want? When do you think North America will experience that? That's it for today. Thanks for watching. I'm Fred. Please subscribe to our channel for more technology updates and like and share this video. Now, do you want to know another Gigafactory owned by Elon Musk? What an incredible vehicle is currently being made? If yes, then click and watch the next video here.